independence. This is my first time on a Harley. It's excitement. I got to pose on a Harley and it was awesome. It's freedom. It's ballsy. Well, the garage party is a specific party for women. Pinstriping, different colors. Oh, you know, you can still look good. To go and experience this great sport of motorcycling. I came to the garage party today because I've heard a lot about Harley and never could imagine myself on a motorcycle, so I thought I'd come in and check it out. I've never really ridden a motorcycle before. Of course, Harley Davidson, I mean the name within itself. It was just like a great opportunity and I wanted to just come and see what they actually had to offer. The cool factor about garage parties is that it's for women only, for women to interact with women and share of the new experience of learning about motorcycles. So on this bike, where's the key at? Excellent. One of the things I love about garage parties is seeing the light bulbs go off in the women's heads when they learn about soft tail and what does that mean. Or how do you start a motorcycle? <laughs> and watching them learn and get excited about it, that's what I love. You know, through our passion, the experienced ones, we can impart that enthusiasm. Tommy, you want a leather that's going to hold up. To a group of very new, very curious, I want to do it too, type of women. Oh, you know about what to put on before you get on the motorcycle. Now you need to find out what you can actually put on your motorcycle itself. A lot of women riders are previous passengers who have said, you know what, I want to take control. I want to be behind the handlebars. They decided, this is my time. I'm going to take control and I'm going to learn how to ride a motorcycle. The stigma surrounding women in motorcycles is definitely one of those things that's getting less and less as we go on. I think as more and more women get to start to do it, it's going to just spread like wildfire. It's really exciting to share our passion. I'm not going to try to pick it up with your arm. You know, the best advocate for getting somebody to take up a sport is somebody that enjoys the sport to the point of, this is passion and this is part of my life. I had a blast. I had an absolute blast. I learned so much. I would love to do it again. I mean, I'd love to have this group go out again and do it. It was really fun. And it's all about freedom and empowerment and that's really cool.